Hi, my name is Casey Brown, and I did a strategic plan on my cousin's new business that she just recently opened. It's called Photography by Shannon. She was recently working out of a garage type setting in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Um, in this garage, there was no restroom available for clients, so they would have to drive up the road if there was an issue and they needed to use the restroom during a photography session. There was no heat, so um, it was kind of hard for her to take photos of little ones because of the cold weather. It had to be warm um, for her to be able to do those photo sessions. And there was no natural light um, to help benefit her photography. Um, so it was very a dark and not welcoming setting. Um, she decided to develop this into a business. She wanted to make photography more part of her life and more of a priority than just side work. So she opened Photography by Shannon in Charlestown, Indiana. Um, this allowed her to have a more space, a restroom available, heat, air, and there was also natural light available in this new setting. Um, so it's, it was more beneficial to her to do this um, and she's going to make it a main focus. So part of Shannon's new opening she needed to create a mission and after speaking to Shannon she wanted to be able to provide a comfortable and enjoyable setting for her clients she wanted to be able to build a relationship with her clients and get to know them um, she wanted to be able to capture their personalities as well as their natural looks um, through a camera and she wanted to create you know, lasting memories for her clients so that they can look back on these pictures and remember those moments that were very special in her clients' hearts. Um, and this is this is her mission. Um, so with that being said, um, I conducted a SWOT analysis on Shannon's business. So um, a SWOT analysis just, you know, it tells the company's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And sometimes this is hard for companies to address because out of this, it comes the strategic issues that they aren't aware of and that they need to work on. So a few of the strategic issues that I want to touch on um, are economy. Um, so with that being said, if the economy were to drop, people are not going to pay to come to get their pictures taken. Nobody is going to go to a photography session versus paying a water bill. They're just not going to do that. People aren't going to spend their money, which ultimately that will affect photography by Shannon. The second issue is social issues. So um, she's new to the area and Charlestown community is going to drive her business. Um, there may be studios already in the area that the local people are already supporting. Um, so she's going to have to be proving herself to these people and showing that she can do a great job and do, you know, provide the quality that they want. Um, the last issue is technology. Um, this is one of the smaller issues, but as we know, technology is always updating. They're having better quality on their photog photos. They're having better lighting. They're having better backdrops. Um, so all of this is um, going to affect Shannon. Um, so I have a couple of recommendations for Shannon um, in these areas that are going to ultimately affect her as a business. Um, so first, um, my um, recommendation for um, tech or not technology, um, economy. You know, we can't control the economy. I think we all know that. So, um, she just needs to be aware of it. She needs to develop relationships with these people in the community, um, get them to come in and adjust her prices if the economy drops so that clients can still come in and get their photos taken and Shannon can keep her business going. Um, the second one is social issues. Um, so my recommendation for that, um, you know, it, it's kind of hard to get people to come in that don't know you. Um, they don't see your work they don't trust your work they don't know anybody talking about you so she could do many photo sessions for a cheap price this catches people's eyes Ooh, a mini photo session for you know five five photos for 15 bucks cheap done in 30 minutes shannon can make a lot of money doing this and that ultimately provides her with clients who 
could return. They like her work. They want to keep going into her and they want to keep getting those photos done. Um, last is technology. Um, you know, Shannon is a new business. So she has family. She has friends who have come to her previously in the past. Maybe she could ask for donations. She could host an event where she posted on Facebook or everybody sees it and they come, they have refreshments, she takes pictures of it all, she posts them. Um, this is going to be very attractive to people who add her on Facebook and see her Facebook page. So that is going to really allow her to expand. It's also going to help her develop relationships with people in uh, the community. Since she's doing this and she's having a big event, she can get to know them, ask them about their family, see what they want in life. Um, so with all that being said, Shannon is a new business and there are things that are going to affect her business. But I feel like I have provided some great recommendations for Shannon um, to be able to keep her business above water. Thank you.